with our Muslim sisters and brothers beginning tonight, the holy month of Ramadan, when the faithful will fast from sunrise to sunset, starting tomorrow. I choose as opening words these lines from one of my mentors, the late Dr. Jacob Trapp, a Unitarian Universalist minister and poet who I discovered long ago, almost a century ago, served this church as its youth advisor. Jake wrote, each of the great religions has a distinctive note that may be likened to the strings of a harp. In Hinduism, it's the note of spirit, a universe throbbing with divine energy and meaning. In Buddhism, the wisdom of self-discipline, quenching the fire of the ego in the cool waters of meditation. In Confucianism, it is reciprocity, mutual consideration as the basis of society. In Taoism, it is to conquer by inaction, to be lowly and serviceable like a brook, and become rich by sharing. In Judaism, it is exodus from bondage, the covenant of responsibility and freedom. In Christianity, it is the prayer that all may be one. This is my body broken for you inasmuch as you have done it for one of the least of these. And in Islam, it is the note of submission. My God and your God are one to whom we are to be self-surrendered for the sake of peace. I welcome you this morning in the name of this congregation and of its current senior minister, my successor, Vanessa Rush Southern, who is on a well-deserved sabbatical leave and returns to work tomorrow. Greet her warmly next week. I want to express thanks for all who helped to make worship here possible each week. Today, my worship associate, Mari Magdaloni Ramos, the choir and maestro Sumner and Bill Gantz at the piano, Jonathan uh, Silk, our intrepid uh, communications manager, and all of the people who are helping with the uh, video and the live stream this morning. If you're with us on live stream, welcome. If you need any help, please uh, use the chat to find the person who will assist you. There is an order of worship available there, I believe. With that, I think it's time to light our chalice, symbol of our distinctive faith tradition. Mari? Please say the words of the chalice lighting with me. I invite you to. Um, the words are in your order of service. We light this chalice for the light of truth, the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together. M is number 125. It's not a terribly familiar one, but very apt for the moment. And I'm sure the choir will assist us. Please rise as you are willing and able in body or in spirit. <laughs> 